Hi, this is Steve. Welcome back to Scale Model Kit Review. In this video, I continue to build a Nissan GTR R35. I am on issue 16, stage 61. Now, on stage 61, we're going to go ahead and test out those lights that we uh, put in on stage uh, 60. And during the during this test, I did find a little problem with the with the wiring, and I'll show you what I did with that. So, without further ado, let's get started. Welcome back. Let's look at the instructions for stage 61. Super excited about this stage because we get to test the lights and the wiring. And testing the lights. So we have our complete parts list. We actually get the key fob for operating the car remotely and uh, attaching all the lights to the wires and we're going to test them out. You will need to have three AAA batteries for this operation. And of course the battery they supplied for the key fob is this right here. Which is a 061 battery. Super cool. Total of 12 steps total. I show how to change the battery in the key fob here in the instructions so everything is here so I'll be right back with the parts and we'll get started here's the parts for stage 61 and you can see we have our key fob in there and all our lights to do our testing so let me get these out and we'll get a closer look we also received in a separate bag the battery for the key fob Here's our lights that we're going to be using to test out our circuits. And you can see we have uh, what appears to be the lights for the rear lights because it has the green and red wires. And then the lights for the front headlights, which are the black and red lights themselves. We also received uh, interior light, which I think represents the instruments and then the interior light switch harness. So I'll be right back with the key fob. And here's the key fob. Very nice. They give us that with a nice GTR logo on it. And an area in the back where you can change the battery out, put the battery in it. Which we'll be doing that here a little bit later. And like I was saying, it's a CR2016 battery. Step one, you want to attach the interior light switch. This is your interior light switches. And this is the connector right here. They tell us we want to make sure that it's connected securely. Now this is going to go on the two-prong contactor here. And it should be a simple snap in. Just be very careful you don't uh, bend any of the prongs. There we go. And that's in. Step two, they want us to attach the headlights. And that's these right here. I'm going to undo them a little bit. There we go. So they kind of stick out like that. And this is going to go on the larger connector. Here. And this is the black and red wires to correspond with the black and red that we put in for the front headlights. And this will snap in also. It's got four pins. So just be cautious. You put those on there and that's good there. Step three, we're going to attach the tail lights. And that's the larger four prong also. It goes on the larger connector. And Make sure everything looks good there. We'll snap that all in. And that's uh, step three. 
and step four we do the interior light and that's a two prong connector single bulb on its own and that just snaps in very nicely now they want us to attach the interior indicator so we got to bring the interior tub over and that's going to be this connector right here, the little two prong connector and I'll lay this down in there and it appears to be right hooked up right there. Just see the connector. Okay. And before I leave the interior on there, I went ahead and disconnected that because we got to put the batteries in. So I need to flip this over. It's going to secure some stuff out of the way here so it doesn't get smashed. Flip this over so we can get the batteries in. Make sure my switch is off to the right. And put my batteries in. back on so after we have the batteries in we'll turn on the electro electronics all the way over to the right and I'll go ahead and put the interior back on here okay interior is back on so I went ahead and took the backing off just to make sure we have a battery in this and that's what it looks like on the inside and if you remove the board the battery's on the other side and there's already a battery installed so we'll see if it works they did give us that spare battery put the cover back on and simply just screw it down. So now it's time for our light test. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the switch for the batteries. And take our key fob, set on the push on the center button and that will turn on our instruments. There you go. You can kind of see that there. And there's our headlights and our so to test the interior light um, I had an issue with that I had uh, an issue with these are your interior light switches here and every time I plugged it in the light stayed on all the time so that told me that these uh, micro switches were wired in incorrectly 
um, I just simply had to run the red wire to the other terminal on the other side and you can see they're soldered on there um, so now it works correctly so if you if you actuate one of the switches the interior light comes on you actuate the other one the interior light comes on so the problem was is you had to actuate both of them down and then the light would go out and that's not how it works either switch will trigger the interior light so simply taking I had to take and resolder the connector from this side of the terminal to the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and use some tulip. Instead of some heat shrink, I'm going to use this uh, tulip slick and I'm going to protect those wires because they are resoldered in place. And they tell you to go ahead and disconnect all the lights and switches because we're going to continue the build and we don't need to have them in the way. And that's all we do for stage 61. I would say the light test was a success. We tested the instrument lights, the interior lights, the brake lights, and the headlights. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell for all notifications. Head over to EagleMoss.com and subscribe to this car today. Stay tuned for stage 62, which is the last stage for issue 16. Happy modeling, everybody, and take care.